And welcome back everybody to another exciting episode of Joey's Garage. We are here, beautiful Easter Sunday 2018, in my garage. The weather is awesome, the birds are out, and I get to work in the garage. Today, I'm going to be changing the oil, but it's not what you think. I'm actually going to get it tested. I told you, the birds are out. I'm going to get it tested to find out if my engine and how it's doing, and if flushes actually damage your engine, because that is a huge topic. Everybody's talking about it. Do flushes like these, one I prefer, Liqui Mole. Ha! Got it! Does it damage your engine? I've flushed this engine, man, probably six or eight times. I do it every about four to five, probably, on a typical basis. But with doing Joey's Garage, I've flushed this thing so many times. And I always get the comments, oh, dude, your engine's destroyed, man. You're killing your engine. All kinds of negative comments. It doesn't happen. This has about 74,000 miles on it. I'll show it up on the screen right now. And I have not had any problems with it. The only thing besides recalls, I think they did a um, throttle body was one of them. Only other issue I've ever had with it was the water pump failing on me. And that's when I was doing the serpentine belt. It was kind of loose and kind of iffy, so I went ahead and changed that out. Got a little bit of a squeak on it before, and that fixed it. So. I didn't do it on the show, I just did it real quick because it was an issue I was having and I, I forgot about it. So today we are going to test the engine oil and Blackstone Oil Analysis. Awesome um, video or awesome people. I've seen a couple videos on it and pretty much they send you a kit. It will come with a little bottle that you put the engine oil in, fill it up, put this back in here, put on the return label which it already has and boom. Send it in the mail. And they will show you an analysis of your oil, what kind of minerals, metals, everything that's inside of that oil, the viscosity. I'll put it all up on the screen right over here. And it will tell you how your engine's doing. So that's what I'm going to do. So what do you think? Does engine flushes kill your engine? Let's find out. So I'm going to take a sample of the oil, and we're going to send it off to Blackstone Oil Analysis. All right, so I got the engine plug draining. About halfway through the stream, or once it started running for a little bit, I went ahead and filled up this bottle to see what is going on with my engine. Easy as that. Very simple. And we're back. So I figured it out. Additive. It is going to be the Liqui, Liqui Mole. Liqui Mole. Sirotec. I remember I used this a while ago. I was going to do a video on it. But... I didn't like how the results came out, so I went ahead and scrapped that video. And that's probably why it looked a little milky, too. So I got Ford Escape. I got Yes Additives. I got Joey's Garage. Oh, Joey's Garage. View it. Mileage, 75,490. Additive, Cyril Tech. Liqui Mole, I'll put that in. Oil Life, 2,475 is what I'm guessing. But I don't have the exact amount because my engine oil life said 33%. Did the math. I'll put it up right on the screen right now. Boom, 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 boom. Direct proportional. And that's my guess of how much it is. So I got my email and that's it. I'll fill up my payment information. Send this over to the um, guys and see what they say about my engine oil. And there we go. It is that simple. Already has a tracking label right on it. Go into the labs. As I said, Blackstone Oil Analysis. Awesome company. Thank you very much for testing my oil for me. And if you have time, go to their website. I'll put it right down here at the bottom below. And they'll be able to test your oil and tell you how your engine is doing. If you have time, though, make sure you go to their website and check out their frequently asked questions. That was a gem because I was researching on how to do this video. And I was looking, what are they going to test? How do I, you know, what, what, do I, what am I going to know about the engine? And I found some awesome, awesome information there. So, hold on real quick. Let me look it up, and I'll be right back. Hang on. It's hilarious. All right, so I pulled up their website right now, blackstone-labs.com. As I said, it'll be right there. And I'm going to go to their frequently asked questions. This is just a gem. I mean, this is hilarious. It says, where is my uh, sample? I sent it about a week ago. This is a frequently asked question. I sent it at least a week ago and haven't heard anything. Chances are, we don't have it yet. 
We are pretty good at job at keeping up unless there's a holiday or something or an inundated, inundated with samples. So try within a few days of receiving it. All right. I know that the post office looked at me suspicious with the sample. Since you don't have maybe it's lost, should I yell at the post office? Do I need to yell at somebody? How about you? Can I call and yell at you? Knock yourself out is the answer. Seriously, how long do I wait before I give up for the lost the sample? Give it at least a month. You don't actually get lost very often. They usually find their way here eventually. Sometimes they go to another lab and then uh, sometimes they'll be held up in quarantine while the post office figures out whether it's hazardous. For the record, it's not. You print out a letter that explains it he here with a link and sometimes they think it's a pony must die en route to Indiana. <laughs> this is a, are there any way to avoid it? Sure, put the sample in a box. Postage will cost a little bit more, but it'll be worth it. Do I need a kit or um, do I need to have one of your kits to send the sample? No, that was a funny. Do I have or how to tape? Will it find it if the tape or will it help if I tape the hell out of it? Apparently, everyone loves tape. We get so much tape on oil sample container that we should uh, be in the used tape business but you know what doesn't work or but you know what doesn't work very well scotch tape don't do it it's really not any good and our apologies for the scotch tape people now electrical tape that tape we can respect and it goes on for a couple more there's some really good frequently asked questions in there but there's some that are just hilarious I mean <laughs> I was laughing my butt off reading some of those when I was researching the company. But anyway, so I rambled on enough. It is hilarious. I'm gonna send this in, get my oil tested, and see how my engine is doing. So what do you think? Do you think the um, flesh is help, or do you think it's hurting the engine? Leave a comment below. I'm gonna wait for those results. Once I get them in, I'll post them up. But until then, as always, thank you very much for watching. Like the, um, like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, just hit the like button anyways. I want to get at least 10 likes on this video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, smash that button. Turn on notifications. You'll always get my updates and my videos on my channel. And thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all the comments. I try to um, reply back to them. I'm still laughing from those frequently asked questions. And as always, please, please, please ride safe, drive safe, and keep at least two wheels on the road.